I am pleased to note that uh, I have um, been able to um, uh, explain uh, uh, to the Indian leadership um, uh, our understanding of events and uh, also um, sought as further assistance from India um, uh, for Maldives. In this regard, I particularly uh, appreciate um, uh, the government of India's uh, patience and understanding uh, with our country. Uh, I appreciate um, India's willingness to continue to support us, um, both in advice and also um, in terms of financial assistance. Uh, I really appreciate um, the continuation of uh, cooperation uh, in development projects with the country. And um, I have uh, also, during this visit, been exploring possibilities for further private sector investment uh, in, in Maldives. I'm all for elections, um, free and fair elections in the Maldives. I can assure you there will be elections in Maldives uh, as early as the constitution of the country will allow. Any earlier than that um, uh, will mean um, we have to look at the political considerations in the country. Um, uh, currently, uh, my government uh, consists of all the major political parties except that of the uh, former president. And um, the government uh, um, coalition partners are not in agreement uh, over um, uh, an earlier election than um, uh, July of next year. Mr. Nasheed has been trying to scare the Indians. Um, so this was one of the issues, China and uh, fundamentalism. These are the issues that he has been raising um, when he was here in India and also um, you know, in the West, uh, in some of the European and, um, uh, countries in the United States. Now, Maldives is a Muslim country. Like all Muslim countries, we have a range of um, understanding of Islam among our population. That doesn't mean that those who are, have more conservative views of Islam are extremists. Um, this is not the case. Um, in Maldivian society, it's open, and with an open democratic system, we have the possibility to engage with each other, to, ex to engage through dialogue and try to reach common understanding. Some people have already put up, placed a bill in the parliament, asking the parliament to pass a, a decision to withdraw Maldives from the Commonwealth. This is not something I support. I don't think that's the way to go forward. I have continued to engage with the Commonwealth. I have invited Commonwealth Special Representative Sir Don McKinnon to come to Maldives. He is in the Maldives and discussing with all political parties to find solution. Uh, to strengthen the uh, inquiry commission that I set up. We are open to the suggestions that are being made. I want um, the commission uh, to be credible and to um, uh, come out uh, with conclusions that will reveal the facts as they were.